for such a time as this, you know, in looking at Max Varan's uh, collection of the records of the Federal Con uh, Convention in 1787, you, one looks at the debates that were going on around the framing of this Constitution. And specifically when it came to the proposal of amendments and when the insertion of the uh, Part B, which is to give the sovereign legislatures of the states the ability to step in when the federal government started acting totally irresponsibly. Uh, there are a lot, of, a lot of folks are concerned over doing something at a time such as this. But when you read Ferran's collection and you're reading the, the uh, journal entries, the diary and the, uh, the letters that were sent back and forth, our founders actually foresaw the type of period that we're living in. Uh, runaway government that uh, ever since Woodrow Wilson's time, the administrative uh, state that we are creating that is sucking up so much of the personal wealth of individuals and the ability for people to just have a, a decent amount of money in their pocketbooks to spend on their families and their lifestyle. The regulations that are coming down that have the force of law, which are in this republic, our founders never wanted to see. The administrators are unaccountable. And ever since Wilson's time, it's just started to run amok. When the, the executive branch now is both the writer of the law through the form of res, uh, regulation, the, uh, the enforcer of the law, and they're also in the administrative uh, proceedings, they're the judges. They've taken on the role of all three branches, and they're unaccountable. Our founders wanted the people who are writing the law to be elected every two years for a reason. Because when government starts using the force, holding a gun to the head of every constituent, every citizen, when government starts using that force to do things that are untenable and just sometimes just outright appalling to its citizens, the people have to have a way to strike back, and that's at the, at the ballot box. You cannot do that with an administrator. You look at what's going on down in D.C. right now. Uh, Peter Schweizer's got an excellent book. It's called Extortion. If you want a page turner that you, on government that you won't be able to put down, read that thing. Because he digs in and he, he outlines the amount of money that is being used right now. The representative from Philadelphia brought up rightly about the impact of money on uh, these types of issues. But quite honestly, if you read his book and the expose that he did on it, it's already going on. And it's going on to the detriment of every working class person in the United States. This is the opportunity for the people who are closest to the citizens, the state legislators, the people's house in the states and our state senate to step up and I, I am very grateful for something that Representative Gobbler has in here now that he did not have in four or six years ago which is the delegate resolution. There are a group of us that ever since the countermand amendment which I'm a, a sponsor on uh, we've been pushing to get the delegate, uh, the ability of the legislatures drafted into the resolutions in such a way that if those people start trying to act outside of the scope of what the state legislatures have sent them for, they ha the, the legislature has the ability to recall them and not only that, but hold them in contempt. And in Pennsylvania, contempt of the legislature can be up to a two year sentence in the Dauphin County Jail. It's not a pleasant place. So <clears throat> what we have the ability here, and as was mentioned before, uh, Representative Delisio brought it up, 
every time that the, we've come close, and it's happened several times, virtually every amendment in the United States Constitution has come about because the states have been pushing for it. And it's come about because we've been coming so close, we've come so close, and then the Congress finally sticks its hands up and say, okay. So for that reason, all of those reasons, I'm a yes on this. Go to conventionofstates.com, press the button, sign the petition. More importantly, get 10 of your friends to do the same. When you sign the petition, then that sends a letter to your state legislator. You go on the list in their district as a supporter. We deliver those lists to the state legislators. It means something to them.